Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to 3D model a wrench. We are going to start a sketch on the XY plane. We're going to do a line that is 200 millimeters long. We're going to make that line coincident to the origin and make it 10 millimeters away from the origin from the end point. We're going to make this line for construction. Then we're going to select the ellipse tool and make a general ellipse. And then we're going to create a line from the end point of the line to the center of the ellipse. And then same thing on the other center of the ellipse. Make sure the lines are perpendicular. We're going to set these lines for construction and make it at a 17 degree angle. The longer line will have a length of 27.5 millimeters and the shorter line is going to have a length of 25 millimeters. Then we are going to create a line parallel to the shorter line. So it'll be at a 17 degree angle. We're gonna apply the parallel constraint and make it 20 millimeters long. The distance from the smaller line to the 20 millimeter line will be 12.5 millimeters. And then we're just simply gonna mirror it across the center line. We're going to then use an arc to join the two lines. The arc will have a radius of 15 millimeters. Now for the other end of the wrench, we're going to create a circle that is 30 millimeters in diameter. Pardon me, 33 millimeters in diameter. And then we're going to use the polygon tool with six sides. The hexagon will have a width of 25 millimeters. And then we're going to do another hexagon offset to that one by 90 degrees. And it will also have 25 millimeter width. We're then going to trim all the inner edges. Now that we've completed the other end, we're going to join the two circles. The line is going to be 10 millimeters away from the center line. And we're going to mirror that about the center line. Then we are going to use the rectangular tool. and make sure that it is directly centered to the center line. It's gonna have a width of 10 millimeters. And 20 millimeters away from the one end of the circle. And then 150 millimeters long in total. We're gonna use a three millimeter radius on each corner of the, re of the rectangle. And now we're going to extrude.
we're gonna extrude both ends first and we're gonna do it from the mid plane. And it's gonna have a 10 millimeter extrusion. Now we're gonna turn on the visibility of the sketch and do the same for the inner portion of the wrench. First, we're going to do six millimeters and then do the inner portion at five millimeters. Make sure it's from the mid plane. We're going to turn off the visibility of the sketch and add some fillets to the wrench. The first fillet is going to have a 20 millimeter radius and that's going to be applied to the left end of the wrench. And then on the right end of the wrench, we're going to have a 30 millimeter radius. And then we're going to have a one millimeter radius on all the other parts of the wrench. And then now we're going to select the appearance. And there we have it. That's how you model a 3D wrench. Thanks for watching.